whether you pay tight, whether you are a Muslim, all the money that God has given you, God is blessing you because of somebody, so that you will bless somebody. Hello, warriors. How are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Shea Wombi And If I return viewer, thank you for coming back. Please, I want to plead with you. If you watch any of my videos and then you love what you see and you want to connect more or ask for um, clarity, just put it down in the comment section. When I get text or, you know, get an inbox or an email about a video that I posted, it will really help the channel if you put your question in the comment. That would be nice. And if you don't want to do that, that's okay. Today, I want to talk about a realistic budget that actually works. And this is unscripted. I want to break it down more when it comes to how you spend your money. If you watch my previous video, like my last week video, I mentioned budgeting is for people that have money coming in. If you are not working, if you don't earn income, budgeting is not for you. Now, what I'm saying is for Christians, when you get paid, you need to take your 10% off. The 10%, that's your tithe that you give to God. Your place of worship, if you have a church that you worship in, your tithe goes to your church. If you don't have a place that you worship in, let's say your church is too far away from you, try to find a local church. And if you are on the journey to finding a local church, you can donate your 10%. Your 10% is something that you're supposed to give back to God to say, Oh God, you gave me this 100%. This is for you. Bring all your tithe into the storehouse. So there will be food in God's house. And it's even testing us to say, test me with this. If I will not open the windows of heaven, that will pour down blessing. That it shall not be room enough to receive it. And to my Christian brothers and sisters, if paying tight is a problem, it's even satanic to be thinking that all the money that comes into your hand is for you alone. Whether you pay tight, whether you are a Muslim, all the money that God has given you, God is blessing you because of somebody so that you will bless somebody. Anyway, when you get paid, you take your tight out first. Let's say you get a thousand. That's your hundred percent. You take your 100 out and then the 900 now will put it back at a 100% if that makes sense. You put it back at your 100%. And now you can try the 50, 30, 20 budgeting format rule. Give it a try if it will work for you. Before you take on board of what rule works for you, write everything down. This is me. I'm a mother of five. I live in my house with my kids and my husband. What are the things that we spend our money on in my house? Now, just to give you a little bit of what I'm talking about. I mentioned your tithe as a Christian, brother and sister. You pay rent. In our house, we eat. We buy food. We put petrol in the car. We pay for electricity. We pay, um, we buy eating oil during the winter months when it's cold to keep the house warm. I have two toddlers in crash. I have to pay money towards that, even though it's a token. Aside the fact that the children like to eat their own food, they eat our food as well, like cheese and stuff. We buy African food as well. We pay for bean. We have car insurance, we have broadband, you buy clothes, you get your oil done. You know, things that go into your house, your groceries. What are the things, you know, personal stuff that goes into your shopping? Why you need to write things down is because you want to control how you spend your money. Your personal budget is for you to have good relationship with your your money like the money that comes into your hand 
for you not to hate that money. Whether the money is too little, you think it's too little, just for you to have good rapport with your money. When you write everything down, I said in my video that my need might not be your need. Some people on their phone, like also we have a personal phone, we put data on it. If you are mostly on your phone, maybe house broadband is not a necessity for you. Think about that. If you work from home, obviously you need the broadband. Now, if you are mostly at home, you can just stay with your broadband and don't, you know, have a package for your phone, if that makes sense. Don't have any deal or data on your phone. Just have your phone. Because if you're mostly at home, you can use your Wi-Fi on your phone, if that makes sense. Now, let's go back to the writing. When you write everything down, like I mentioned, we buy eating oil during the winter month. During the summer, that will not be a need for us anymore if that makes sense that will not be a need for us anymore like putting data on my phone is not a need for me most of the time because i'm mostly at home except if i want to travel like it might even be like going for two hours drive you never know what could happen that's when i put data on my phone because i don't need it that might not be your case so it is impossible for anybody to, to kind of give you a tailored budget when they don't know your circumstances. That is why you need to approach people who could help you. And you have to, you know, you have to be plain and open with them. You know, financial advisors and all. I'm in charge of personal budget in my house. So, and I'm doing a fantastic job. When you put everything on your list, you can look at it and say, oh, somebody mentioned car insurance is a need. I don't have a car. I don't have that problem. I mentioned putting petrol in the car is our need. I don't have a car. Petrol is not my need. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I'm a college student. I live at home. My parents take care of the bills. Um, electricity is not my need. Okay, now you look at everything. I don't pay rent. Oh, I pay rent. Oh, I do this. Oh, I do that. Then your 50% will go towards your need. That's why it's a rule. Because you've list everything down, you'll be able to, you know, if you don't watch TV most of the time, why do you have cable? You know, if you are not really mostly on your Netflix, you're busy. Why do you have Netflix? You know, you need to think about all these. So that your 50% will be able to cover your need. And your 30% can go towards your want, what you want. It's not really like a need. You just want it. You know, pay yourself is quite important. If you earn money, you need to be able to kind of enjoy a little bit of it. And because I say enjoy, it doesn't mean the 30% will go, will fly, you know, in the air. Let's say you're thinking of going on holiday. I believe that within your want is where your savings towards your holiday should come from. The remaining 20% will go to your, your savings. Like a little bit of, you know, not too long term savings or stuff like that. Like if you have kids and you know at Christmas you have to buy presents. You need to start putting that away. You know, you need to start putting that away. If you get paid monthly and let's say your rent is weekly if you get a thousand as your income and your rent is actually five thousand a year let's say your rent is five thousand a year how often do you get paid if you get paid monthly you divide that by 12 that means you have to put away 416.6, like roughly 420 away towards your rent. If you get paid weekly and your rent is 5,000 per year, you divide 5,000 by 52. 
that is how much every week 96.15 should go towards your rent now imagine if you are getting paid weekly and your rent is monthly you know sometimes you spend 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 and the last week towards your rent is where you pile up everything that you have towards your rent no you don't live life like that you'll be frustrated because that week you'll be extremely broke you are not budgeting right everything in your house that's a need for you break it down break everything down write it all out write it out that is where you start what do you spend money on looking at your house looking at your expenses what do you buy and if you're going for shopping do you shop weekly do you shop monthly stop going into this shop buy something five euro go into that shop you know do your shopping like that it's not gonna help you even if you a college student you're not at home you need your lunch how much is your cap for your lunch 10 euro is my cap per day for my lunch don't go beyond 10 euro for your lunch because your budgeting doesn't mean you're poor you just want to have good relationship with money and you don't want to bother people imagine like myself if you have you know toddlers who are still in nappies you run out of nappies every time you run out of wipes every time no that's not good who, who, who is gonna give you nappy like even if you go to your neighbor to say oh give me this give me that how long will you continue to do that that is why you have to know how to spend your money and this will really 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 help you if you're a christian if you're a child of faith pay attention to your tight paying your tight will help your budgeting because one of the things with um, obeying the word of God is he gives contentment. When you love God, when you obey God, when you understand God, you get contented with the flow of God to you. So whatever that comes into your hands, you'll be able to, you know, live your life based on your income. But from the starting, don't let somebody say, Car insurance is a need. It might be their need. It's not your need. Don't let somebody say, oh, rent is, uh, you know, the, their need. It might not be your need. Some people, to have a laptop is a need for them. They have to have it. But some people don't have to. But before you go further with how you want your budget to look like, you need to know where your money is going. Start from there first. Where, it, even if it's offering in church, even if it's your charity obligations, write it out. Everything, write it out. You writing it out yourself will be able to say, "Oh no, I don't need this. I, this shouldn't be a need. This should be when I can afford. I can get it." You know. How often do you buy clothes? Do you shop for clothes every six months? Do you buy clothes every three months? Or every time you get paid, every week, you shop. You buy clothes. You buy shoes. Some shoes, you cannot even wear them. You know? So it's a personal thing. It's a personal thing. If somebody is coming to me to say, Oh, can you help me with my budgeting? How much are you earning? What is your income? What, what do you spend your money on? These are the things that we ask you. People will ask you to be able to help you. But you can help yourself by, you know, starting from laying everything down. And giving what belongs to God to God. You know, this is for my brothers and my sisters in Christ. You cannot ignore your tight and you want to focus on your expenses. Uh, I don't know. Because if you are looking for help especially spiritual help, who will you call on to? The person you are saying, I'm not going to give you your money. How much is your money self? How much is you even? So we need to be deliberate with everything that we are doing. Write everything out. When you get paid, pay your tight. With the list that you've written out, you'll be able to know what should be your need and what should be your want. Your need are the things you cannot survive without them. Your want are the things that you can survive even if you don't have them. 
and you can save away. If you have loan, you put your savings towards your loan repayment. You cannot be saving when you are in debt. That's not going to work. So it depends on what is going on in your life. So if you have got any value whatsoever from this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe and click on the bell notification so you'll be able to know when I post new videos. And please, if you are blessed whatsoever and you want to say anything, you want to pass any information to me, just put it down in the comment section. Let's take it further in the comment section. And watch this video on your screen right now. Until I come to your screen again, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, warrior.